Okay, so perfect. So the post is right here, right? So it's pinned. You got you got it. Yeah, it's pinned at the top. Perfect. So three minutes and 15 seconds. You would think that it's long, and, and it actually is. It's 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 considered long, longer form video, right? For for social media. Um, but the whole the whole objective with any video, anyways, is to create the custom audience. So even though it's three minutes and 15 seconds, yeah, the majority of people are not gonna watch the whole thing at all. But if an individual were to come here and watch 30 seconds, even if they just watch 30 seconds, that person was someone that someone that was somewhat interested on what we had up. Now they yeah. might not even have a car or they might not even be in the in the in in the market for this type of a service, but the fact that they sat here and watched it for 30 seconds, we want to we want to hit them again. <clears throat> we want to hit them again. So again, even though it's 3 minutes plus a good a good audience is 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. So right away what I always try to do or what I always do do is the moment I post it on the page and I wanted to, uh, you got you got dark post ads and then you have ads. Right. The reason why I don't do dark post ads is because if I'm going to spend money on this post, I want it to be on the page forever. And with a dark post ad, you're simply running the ad behind the scenes. The moment you turn it off, it's nowhere online. Yeah. Right now, unless it was an ad that you just completely want to hide from the world. OK, cool, whatever. But I truly believe any post is a good post, even though if the ad didn't convert, leave it on the page. Let it let it let it live on the page forever. Let it be public. It doesn't matter. You know, so that's why I don't run dark posts. I'll just post it on the page first and then I'll come back and run the ad. So um, what we can do on this one is, is we could for sure run the ad. But but it was ran before. Right. You got the learn more button. Yeah. We click on the learn more button. Where is it taking us? Website. OK, so. This is this this is this is this is fine. This is fine for now. It won't convert. There's it won't convert, but at least the button takes us somewhere, right? And so what we want to do is anyone that clicks and anyone that comes here, we want to for sure make sure that this is set up as a custom audience as well. So yeah, so even though this is not a landing page that converts to get people to enter their name and email and opt into something, it's still a visitor. And the fact that someone visited the page, that's also a custom audience. So there's actually three custom audience that three custom audiences that 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 we want to set up. One custom audience would be would be, in fact, let me go back. So it's this one right here. So this is the post engagement. So so this is one custom audience of anyone that engages with a post. So if it's an ad, if it's a post or an ad, they're going into this one. So this one really shouldn't even be 10% off quote. It should be just post engagement ads, post engagement ads, because that, that, that's an audience of anyone who, who engages with any post or any ad on the page. Okay. That's one audience. So, so the moment we put it up on the page, that would be one audience. The second audience, which we're going to set up right now is the audience around the video. So yes, even though it's three minutes and 15 seconds, we still want an audience of at least 30 seconds. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to come over here to the ads manager. I'm going to click on custom audience. I'm going to go to video. I'm going to hit next. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose which timestamp I want to create that audience around. So, and this will backtrack it, even though you had the, the post up for a while, it's been up since September, Facebook will simply retract and they'll backtrack to, to, to all those that watched it, you know, last month, all those that watched it the month before, because th this right here, once we go to, um, once we choose whichever, which we'll go with, we'll go with, since it's a longer video, we can go with 25% and that'd be a good audience, 25%. You know, those that watch 25% of that, of that three minute, 15 second video will be in this audience. And then I choose the video, which would be, let's see, let's go down to CT cars. So it'll be this video right here. We are excited. Is it this one? We are excited. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we are excited. Okay, perfect. So this is the video right here. We click on that. We hit confirm. And then this is what I'm talking about. So Facebook will put everyone who is engaged or, or not engaged, but watch 25% of this video in the past X amount of days. So it was posted in September. So September, October, November, we could just go back the, the last 90 days. Can we, last can 90 we, days. 
can, can we um, add in the other ones that we've ran on as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because if you look further down on that list, um, mm-hmm. there was all the breakout clips as well, which have had money spent on them. What, what, what do we want to name this, this video? Every video has a name. Every, every post has its own specific name. Um, just, just what you want to kind of make up it, make, make up, you know, make up a name, but this could be what, what, what kind of video is this? What video right, is this? Main video. Main video. Yeah. Main. Let's go main video. Okay. So audience name is going to yeah. be main video. And then in parentheses, we go 25%. 25% just to give it a title, just to give it a name. So create audience and there goes that audience. So we click on done. Now there goes that audience. So any audience of video viewers would be people that we always retarget. Anyone who were to land on the web page will be a will be an audience they'll always want to retarget. See, this is web website, web visits. So this is yeah. good. This is good. This will be an audience. So as I run the next ad, let's say we go into conversions and we get our Karcher page up and we start capturing leads. It'd be web visits. It'd be, it'd be post engagement. It would be main video, 25 percenters. These would be three audiences that I would use in my, in my targeting. I would retarget these, these audiences. So let's do another, let's do another video. Um, would you, would you like, I know you can add multiple bit. Okay, let me let me get you to the point. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can we can, we can add multiple right here, but we want to do yeah. so I, one individual. Oh really? So you because I want to give it like a name. All six outfits. Well, you you can, but but it's also good to just separate them. So that yeah. way, each one has its own name. Each one can be used at a different time. It's not bunching all, all in at one time, um, okay. but you, you could, you could do it that way, but, sure. but I, 22 seconds, 17 seconds. Let's sure. see. Three second views. So we got, in fact, um, we don't have, we don't have actually that, that is a video. Yeah. We don't have an audience around that one, the 10% off. So let's go 90 days on this one. We'll go 90 days. So audience name um this one's 10 percent off 10 percent off what was it roadmap or what was it uh remapping or ch- uh, performance tuning remap yeah. remap remap yeah 10 percent off remap and this is um 25 percent okay so create audience so so with that one specific post the one that's active right now we have an audience of those who are engaging with it, meaning they're clicking like, they're commenting, they're sharing it because it is a quote unquote engagement ad. So that's one specific audience that's being built, anyone who engages. And then the second audience around that one being built is the video, those who actually watch the video. Okay. okay. Yeah. So again, the reason why this is the most, most, most important part of all of Facebook advertising is because this is how you build your audience. This is how you build the omnipresence. This is how you build the retargeting. This is how you get in people and you keep getting people in, in front of people to build that, 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 that authority. So it's all about, it's all about custom audiences, man. Mm. Um, retargeting custom audiences, and then also excluding audiences. So let's say, for example, we were running an ad and, and it was to get them to download a, a, a coupon for a free car wash. Yeah. Let's say, let's say this was it right here. Click here to download your free coupon for your car wash, right? They click, they go to the landing page, they enter their name and email. We email them an, a, a coupon right away. It's all done through Kartra. That coupon is sent to them right away. That person lands on a thank you for, for downloading page, which would be a second page. A thank you page is what we call it, a, a second page. That audience, that would be an audience that would be right here. And, and let's say, for example, the name of that audience would be would be car wash, car wash leads. Yeah. That audience is a people, is 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 an audience of people who opted in they didn't just land on the landing page they actually put in their name and email and landed on the thank you page that thank you page is the link that i grab to build the or to set up the audience now that audience would be an audience that i always now exclude so as i run the next ad 
targeting the same location, running the same coupon promotion. I am now excluding the leads, excluding that specific audience from seeing that ad. Love it. So it's about including audiences in targeting and excluding audiences from targeting. You're excluding those who have already jumped into your world, those who have already opted in, right? That's so, true. so, so that's that. That's that one. Is there another video that you wanted to to so that we should set up an audience around? Well, I mean, they're also they're so short. They're only those little breakout clips. 17 seconds, 21 seconds. Um, that That's fine. Um, uh, and they've all had a bit of budget spent on them already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, See, yeah, this one right here, diagnostics. Yeah. Diagnostics. Okay, so let's let's do that one. So let's do 90 days. Diagnostic, diagnostics. Diagnostics video. Um, and we'll just go 25 25 percent and so there goes there goes that audience and so now again as i go run the next ad i can target that audience now gotcha. obviously you want to you want to make sure that that um that no yeah i mean it's all it's all one one audience anyway so no no forget what i was going to say so no that so that that right there we want to start just building these audiences out okay so, cool any any questions on on that? I'm not not just not just for the moment. I think that that all looks good. Um, I think um, yeah, just just splitting them is probably the right idea. But um, but yeah, they're on the feed anyway. They've been posted and they've just had engagement ads run on them. Um, perfect, perfect. So now, if if you've had a ton of engagement um, ads, let's let's rename this. Let's rename this, and this is not just this is not just um, ten percent off. This is all post engagement. Anyone who is engaged with a post with a post or ad, post post, it's post and ad engagement. Okay. So that would be an audience um, of anyone, anyone who's 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 engaged with any any post or ad. Right. Right. So, so that'd be good for that. So main custom audiences are, are video viewers, um, engagement, web page visitors, and, and those who land on the, on the, on the landing page on the, on the landing on, excuse me, on the thank you page, which are, which are, which are visitors who opted in. Which we right? haven't built yet, but yeah we, yeah, we haven't got there yet, but, but that as we move forward, that's, that's what we're going to be. We're, we're, that's that's an audience that will be focused on for sure like like and, and just to give you a quick example this is a landing page so so this is for real estate but it's the same same exact concept wow. same strategy so as someone sees the ad they click learn more they come over to the landing page right get instant wow. access to the price and photos of this property right one single page one single button this would be an audience of web page visitors Right. Uh, so that would be that would fit this web web visits. Right. That would fit that that audience okay. right there. People check that out. Right. By the what, way, what's that? Awesome. That that web visits. We need to check that that audience that's actually set up correctly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll check that for sure. Yeah. And and so as people come here, some are going to leave. Right. Some will just click, come to the page. And for whatever reason, they don't opt in. That's yeah. a web page visit. That's a custom audience that I for sure want to retarget, right? But yeah. then those that actually come here and opt in, right? Send me the details. They they opt in. They come to the second page. That's what I'm referring to. So this second page, this is your money page. This is where people have, have opted in. So you would take this link and set up a custom audience. And this would be under website. So we would set up a custom audience and name this one leads, but not just leads. You want to be specific. What leads? Car wash leads, detail leads, tune up leads, right? You want to be specific. Okay. This right here was listing leads, yeah. right? So, okay. so I would set up a custom audience. I would go people who visited specific web pages, and then I would change out the 30 days to maybe, maybe 90, and then I would paste in that link. I would paste in that link and create 
that audience. Now, why, again, is that audience so important? Because that audience is a group of people who have already opted in. So to make sure that I don't overspend on ads is I want to make sure that I'm showing my ads to the most relevant people. In this case, they're people who have already opted in. So therefore, they don't need to see my ads anymore. Exclude them. Right. Of course. Yeah. Right. So that's what it's really all about, man. Is And, and then also, here's another way to put it. I'm referring to excluding them from seeing future ads, but when you reverse it, you can also target them. So again, imagine if this was, if this was, if we were running an ad, giving away a free car wash. And so we got a ton of people to download it. They land on the thank you page, right? Thank you for downloading your free coupon, right? They land on the thank you page. We now have that audience set up under leads, car wash leads. What we can also do in the future, the next day, a week later, whatever. What we can also do is run an ad specifically to them. Hey guys, this is John with CT Cars. Hey, thank you so much for downloading our free coupon for for your free car wash. Hey, have you got a chance to come in? Let me show you what's going to happen once you do come in and redeem your coupon. Yeah. Right? That's a very specific message to a very specific audience. And they can upsell from there. And they can upsell from there. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. So, so knowing the audiences, segmenting these audiences are, are the most important that, that most don't talk about. Because every time you set up an ad, even though you're targeting the same location, even though you're putting in what the, 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 the demographics, the keywords, all that shit, even if you put in all that, it's a cold ad. And you do it again next week, you're, you're just putting in an address, put targeting, it's a cold ad. You're doing it again the third week, run it again. It's a cold ad. Even though you're targeting the same freaking location, it's yeah. a cold ad. Just not optimizing the budgets doing it like that, is it really? Y- yeah, you're, you're not optimizing the audience. That's what yeah. it is. It, you're not optimizing the audience. You're not optimizing who's actually engaging, who's actually watching the video, who actually clicked and opted in. You're not yeah. segmenting them through the custom audiences, right? And so this part's so important, mate. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that and teach you a little bit about about custom audiences. Perfect. 